Welcome back everybody. Thanks for joining us. Today on Celebrate Sausage, we're gonna be making the Netherlands' most popular snack food, frikandel. Frikandel is an incredibly delicious Dutch sausage. It's typically poached and then fried, and you can eat it various ways. In today's video, I'm not only gonna show you how to make frikandel, I'm gonna show you how to make a frikandel special, which is a very popular way to eat it. And that is slice down the middle, raw onions, a little bit of curry ketchup, and some mayo. Mm, absolutely delicious. Let's make frikandel. To get started with this frikandel, let me show you what we're gonna be using. Now, in this particular recipe, I'm gonna be using chicken, lean beef, and some pork belly. But you could use pork shoulder and beef, chicken and beef, chicken and pork. Really, the combinations are up to you, but whatever you choose to use, just make sure that your meat is properly chilled. We also have mustard powder, red onions, garlic, coriander, and you can find the recipe in the description box below. So I'm gonna take all of my ingredients and put it into my food processor. The knife blade for my food processor is incredibly sharp. All of my ingredients have been chilled. You know, my meat is partially frozen. And we're just gonna go ahead and put the spices and the onions directly on top. To that, we're gonna add some very chilled sweet soy sauce. This is a great ingredient for your frikandel. It's gonna make it taste amazing. And then we're gonna add some breadcrumbs. And you know what? I think as a last minute ingredient, I'm gonna add a couple pinches of clove powder. So all of the ingredients are now in my food processor. And we're gonna chop this up until it becomes one solid mass. It's gonna be kind of like a semi-emulsified sausage. This process only took probably about two minutes, and this is what our mass is gonna look like. Because most of our ingredients were semi-frozen when we added them to the food processor, our mincemeat is incredibly cold still. And all I'm gonna do now is form our frikandel log. So I'm gonna be putting it on uh, some cling film, rolling it out till it's about 20 centimeters in length, which is a standard frikandel size. And then I'm gonna wrap that cling film because we're gonna poach it in that cling film. Let's go ahead and measure it just to double check. There's my 20 centimeters, and now it's time to poach our frikandel. Now, I want my heat to be at about 170 to 176 degrees, and we're gonna poach our frikandel for anywhere between 30 to 35 minutes, basically one minute for every millimeter that your frikandel is wide. Into the water bath they go, and if you made your frikandel right and everything was cold, you shouldn't have a big puddle of fat in your water. That fat should stay in your frikandel, and it's gonna give you a really delicious, juicy bite every time you bite into it. Now that they're done poaching, we're just gonna go ahead and remove that cling film and get them ready to fry. Now, you could take these just like that and freeze them, pull them out whenever you want to uh, use them, and then fry them later, but in order to get them ready for the oil, we're just gonna pat them dry. We don't want them to be wet. And we're gonna run a knife lengthwise down our frikandel, kind of like you were opening up a hot dog bun. I didn't show you on camera, but you'll see the end result here in a second. In 350 degree oil, we're gonna fry these until they are golden brown because they're already cooked. And we're just gonna set those on a tray to drain for a quick second as we prepare our frikandel special. Now this is a great way to eat it. So here's our cooked frikandel. You can see what happens when you slice that frikandel lengthwise. It looks exactly like a hot dog bun at this point, and it now opens up a cavity where we can fill it with our delicious frikandel special ingredients, which is gonna be raw onions, a whole lot of onions, and if you wanna use purple onions, that's great too. We came back with a little mayo, and then we're gonna finish off this with some curry ketchup. Now, I happen to use all the curry ketchup on that first one, so we're gonna use re regular ketchup on the other one, which is totally acceptable as well. And there you have it. This is our frikandel special, the number one snack food in the Netherlands. We're gonna give this a little cut and see what it's all about. And I could tell you right now, I love the way it slices. It's got a beautiful texture. It smells great. Let's taste it. Wow, <laughs> this is incredible. The sausage by itself is very delicious. It's got a great mouthfeel, super juicy, very flavorful, but now you add the 
curry ketchup, the mayo, the onions, and you get this sort of complete package, I can definitely see me making this sausage again. I highly suggest that you make this sausage. It's easy to make. All we did was use a food processor, blended everything up, and formed it into rolls. It was absolutely incredible. You can find the recipe for fricandel in the description box below. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. And thanks for watching. Be sure to tune in tomorrow, same time, same place, where we've got a brand new recipe for you to enjoy here at Celebrate Sausage. Bye-bye.